When you're ready. So do medical students regret persevering through medical school? The majority of medical school students do not regret persevering through medical school because their perseverance paid off. But approximately one third of students do feel regrets due to mental health issues, mistreatment during medical school, and burnout. A study done in 2018 said that the main motivations among medical students is making their friends and family proud, earning respect in society, and parent pressure. Parent pressure can be dangerous though because it's not the student's own motivation fueling them to go to medical school, it's their parents' hopes for them. According to the NIH, 56.1% ended up regretting going to medical school because their parents forced them to. The study concluded that the main motivator within medical school students is a self-interest and a passion for medicine. This demonstrates how if a student's own passion for medicine is fueling them and motivating them to get through medical school, they will have less regrets than a student whose parents is forcing them to go through school. By increasing the awareness of how pressure by parents can cause regret, the hope would be that more parents would not pressure their child to go to medical school and that the regret rate would decrease. But a limitation to this is that although some parents may recognize that regret can be caused by pressuring your child, they'll still pressure their child regardless because they want what's best for their child and they want their child to have a profession in the medical community. According to the NIH, quote, mistreatments associated with increased thoughts of dropping out of medical school, lower career satisfaction, and regret for having chosen the profession of medicine, end quote from Cook in 2014. An individual's treatment throughout medical school significantly impacts their future career and if they'll experience regret or not. Students who are mistreated during medical school are more likely to have regrets and eventually drop out in the future. By making sure medical school students are less likely to get mistreated, the dropout rate would decrease and the regret rate would also decrease. A way to fix the issue of mistreatment within medical schools is by not having professors, is by having professors hold themselves and their colleagues accountable for when mistreatment does occur and by reporting it whenever it's seen. A limitation to fixing the issue of mistreatment is that although mistreatment is a major cause of regrets within medical school, it is not the sole cause of regret. So looking at some other causes of regret, Mental health struggles are extremely common among medical school students. Other individuals of the same age are, that are not in medical school are less likely to have mental health issues than medical students. According to the NIH, quote, on a global scale, prevalent rates of depression and anxiety in medical school students are 27% and 34% respectively. Data collected across several countries shows that suicidal ideation rates are an alarming 11% from there in 2023. This demonstrates how extreme mental health struggles are for medical students and how a large number of students have to face these mental health struggles while simultaneously dealing with the academic rigor in med school. Between medical school mistreatment and mental health issues, burnout is very common among medical school students. Students are often tired and the idea of what they're doing is actually worth it runs in their heads. This is where regret comes in because many have already been studying and participating in medical school for months or years and it will have been a waste of money and time for the student and their parents as well. So a solution to better mental health and to have less regret within medical, within medical school students is student therapy and being in group therapy to kind of have your peers to lean on that are also dealing with similar struggles to you and encouraging journaling and self-reflection. But the issue of mistreatment should be taken seriously first before mental health because mistreatment is the biggest and most major cause of regret within medical school students. Regret is a semi-common feeling among approximately one-third of medical school students found in a study done in 2018 that was tested on first-year medical school students in India. A different study done in 2014-2016 by Lisanette and Durbin at the Mayo Clinic found that, quote, high anxiety, lack of social support, and lower empathy during four-year medical school related to a risk of symptoms of burnout during residency and throughout their career, end quote. Having feelings of anxiety and loneliness and a lack of empathy during medical school correlate with how you feel about your career in the future. This is significant because if medical school students can realize that how they feel while they're in medical school will relate and will just progress in the future, they could realize earlier on that the medical path might not be the one for them. Having physicians that regret their choice of going into medicine could have extremely negative effects on our society because the best physicians are the ones who are most passionate about medicine. Throughout medical school, the virtue of perseverance is developed in all students because of the academic rigor. But not all students are able to develop this characteristic, which is why many end up feeling regret. 
Perseverance is not an easy quality to achieve and demonstrate. In order to persevere, you must come over, overcome extreme struggle to achieve your goals, which is why the people who are the students and people who are able to persevere are the ones who excel most within their field. The theme, is the theme of perseverance is exemplified in the article Through the Tunnel. The grit and perseverance demonstrated by Jerry in Through the Tunnel is the same perseverance that medical school students have to go through. In order to graduate medical school and become a physician, you must devote four years of your life to medicine during school and the rest of your life. And the days will start early and end late and on top of clinicals and lectures, and you will have rigorous homework that seems to never end. Two thirds of medical school students end up not regretting their choice to persevere through medical school and to achieve their goals of becoming doctors and helping those around them. The hard work and dedication throughout medical school prepare them for, prepare them for when they become a doctor and a physician and the majority do, are, do not regret it, but are proud of themselves for persevering through it. So just as Jerry persevered and through the tunnel. Another example is from, of perseverance is from Eloise Cobo. Cobo sued the US government for mismanagement of Indian trust funds. In the article, Cobo's personality is described, and it is stated that, quote, when you lead a movement that seeks fundamental change, there always has to be someone who simply refuses to go to the back of the bus, and that person is Eloise Cobo, from Janko in 2023. This exhibits Cobo's persistent personality that motivated her throughout her lawsuit. Throughout several years, Cobo had to persevere through the lawsuit, and there were ups and downs throughout her entire journey, but she ended up succeeding in the end and achieving her goal by being rewarded one of the most, one of the largest settlements in U.S. history. Both Cobo and Jerry feel accomplished and proud of the struggle that they overcame in the artifacts, just as many medical school students do not regret their decision, but are proud of their perseverance. Just as Jerry and Cobo struggled through their own adversity and were proud of their perseverance when they achieved their goals. Thank you. <clears throat> um, how did your research question change and evolve as you moved through the process? Originally, I was gonna focus on the relationship between stress and courage, especially with high stress occupations, because I was wondering if people in high stress occupations ended up having more courage than the average person, but I ended up finding little to no research on this question. And when I was attempting to find research on the relationship between stress and courage with high stress occupations, I ended up finding information about medical school students and I ended up just looking up this question and I found a lot of interesting information. So that changed my question. Okay, thank you. Um, how is your conclusion in conversation with the body of literature or other sources that you examined? My conclusion of medical school students having pride in themselves for achieving their goals and persevering is in conversation with the artifacts because Cobalt in particular had been struggling for years during the lawsuit and it ended up with her winning the biggest settlement in U.S. history and she persevered and was able to achieve her goals which is similar to medical school students because they persevered and achieved their goals once they graduate of becoming a doctor and helping those in their community. Similarly, Jerry and Through the Tunnel also had struggles and, mentally, and mental struggles to gain the courage to go through the tunnel just as medical school students have to have courage in order to even just join and attend medical school. Okay, thank you.